What's the crack lads? We are back with something a little bit different today. I don't usually talk about rumors, but I've been inundated with questions about this. I saw that Nick Run the Foot Market had a video on it as well. Somebody sent me that, and they also sent me a couple of tweets. Different people sending me and asking me my thoughts on it. Obviously, primarily, I am an eFootball channel, and of course, that's what we cover most of all. I haven't really played EAFC this year, um, but it looks like, yeah, I mean, the rumors are that 2K are teaming up with FIFA, so using the FIFA brand, that would have broken off from EA. Obviously, when EA Sports and FIFA went the opposite direction this year, they've kind of done their own thing. The FIFA brand is obviously going to be coming back as the governing body. So that's going to be the licensed stuff. And it looks like 2K could be teaming up with them or FIFA could be teaming up with 2K, whatever way you want to put it, right? There's a lot of people talking about it. I saw a lot of tweets. As ever, there's no real substantiated like sources to this where you can pinpoint an article or a quote or anything it just seems to be kind of in the twitter sphere or the x sphere um and a lot on reddit and stuff like that which i don't really get into rumors but it was on Eurogamer as well this was kind of where i first saw it i think somebody sent me this and then i followed back and we saw the videos and stuff um i think we're in a kind of a strange place now for football games obviously you have ufl i know a good few of you guys that watch the channel have actually played the closed beta for UFL and the other beta. Um, I actually haven't played it. I haven't. I didn't get sent a code or anything like that. I don't. I think I registered, but I didn't get a code. Also, there's another one with goals. You know that it was seen originally as kind of like an eFootball style uh, FIFA kind of competitor that was announced a while back. I haven't really been keeping an eye on that too much either. And also, when you kind of peer over at the EAFC stuff or the old FIFA stuff, FC24. It's widely considered as one of the worst games this year. I mean, I've talked to a few people that have played it regularly. Some people like everything but the gameplay. Some people think the gameplay is fun. Sports games are always going to be polarizing. You know, what you might want and what I might want could be two completely separate things. Somebody might want the really arcade features. Somebody might want other things. I think with eFootball at the moment, right? Let's just to get this out there. Obviously, you know, I play football a lot. I see, I see a lot of potential in it. When the game flows, it's very fun, but obviously there's a lot of carnage in there as well. There's a lot of silly stuff that happens, as in all sports games. Sometimes you just feel like you just can't get a good flow in the game. There's weird stuff happening. But when I think eFootball shines, I think it does shine bright enough to see a little bit of light at the end of the tunnel as to where they're going to go. You guys might not agree with that currently with your feelings on the game, but some of you might agree as well. Some of you might see the glass half full or half empty, depending on your enjoyment with the game and your experience with the game. For me personally, there is moments of magic in the gameplay that are kind of worth going through and slodging through a little bit. You can still dribble a lot. And obviously all eyes will turn to eFootball as well. I'm going to do a video on Master League, which a lot of people still want news on. Um... Master League is something that I get asked about regularly. That's where I started my channel. I want to return to that offline gameplay while still letting them do their own thing with Dream Team and obviously the cards and stuff like that. I actually have played a lot of 2K games. I was a massive, massive fan of the NBA 2K games. I used to play my career in it. This is, if it is true and 2K are going to be working on, and obviously it's just rumors at the moment, but if they are working on a 2K style FIFA video or a video game, I feel like that this is probably where they lean into the most, especially if the licenses um, are, are a bit of an issue, you know, because obviously EA have signed up a lot of exclusive licenses. 2K might find themselves in the similar position that Konami are in, that they're kind of having to settle for, you know, a couple of different teams, a couple of different leagues. Um, but obviously, you know, the likes of the Bundesliga, La Liga, Premier League, they're all going to be tied down by, by EA. Um, so I have actually played a lot of 2K games, right? This is from NBA 2K23. This was probably the last game I played because since then, I'd have just felt like that the game, especially NBA 2K24 and towards the end of my playthrough with 2023, it just became incredibly microtransaction-y. I mean, it was so microtransaction-y that you literally could not really play the game unless you were going to grind 50, 60 hours to rank up, uh, you know, a slot to be able to train your player. Um, and I just don't have the time to do that, man. You know, I just don't have the time to sit there. I want to play video games for fun. Uh, and, and content obviously and have fun with the content you know um but this is a huge part of it obviously i'm not really showing my team because i didn't really play that but this is all my footage of starting your career um which i think is where the area that they might actually go and could carve out like a really cool in-depth career mode where you play a player and you think of it like the journey in in, in the old fifa games right 
This is also on the back of them launching the new Topspin game, which, I'll be honest, I don't know was it worth 70 quid. The girlfriend bought it for me on the Xbox, and she's been playing a bit of it as well. But it's fun. It's a very fun game. The top spin game that they've just released from their other studio um, is actually super fun. So I do feel that the, the, the career mode stuff could be interesting. But before I do a follow up and a deep dive on what I would want from a 2K FIFA game, right? And we talk a little bit more in depth about the My Team or the Ultimate Team or the Dream Team style mode they might bring into that. Because they're obviously going to be, you know, bringing cards and microtransactions and all that. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know if you want to see a follow up video to this. Or let me know if you're just not interested with no concrete information. Because I don't usually do uh, rumor videos, but I'm just getting so many questions about this that I wanted to talk about it. Get your input and then do kind of a community-wide one together where we, you know, go into deep dives as to, you know, what's lacking in the current football games that could be in 2K FIFA or whatever it's going to be called. Or is this just complete, you know, do you guys have no stock in this whatsoever? You just don't think this is going to happen. Let me know what you guys think. The rumors are that it's going to be coming with the World Cup and tying in there for the big World Cup um, kind of like event that's going to be happening in real life, obviously. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know if you want to see another video on this topic and on this potential game. And we'll talk to you in a bit. Don't forget to subscribe. Peace.